Right, I felt the need, and some questions customers have been asking me, to redo this nickel test. Not because the first one was a failure, it's to explain better how to use the Draylon cones. Now, we use nickel again because everybody knows that's pretty tough stuff. But that's a 1953 there. Half crown, as you can see, kneeled, ready to go. Now, Draylon, okay, they come in a pack of six, but there's four here, but this is the ones I need, right? Draylon comes in six sizes. You need to put, use the right cone for the right punch hole, otherwise, see, that's wrong. You all know that. That's wrong. Now you will damage your cone right at the end there. You will mash it up there along that line. Along that line will be mashed. It's wrong. Even if you use the old style cones, and there's nothing wrong with them, they fold just, they're alright as well. They fold, fold nicely. But even if you try to do that with the old style, you will damage your cone. I mean, it's common sense, they're not magic cones, no matter which cones you buy. They're not magic, they've got to fit snug as a bug in a rug for the process to begin. You need the folding process. So, that would be damaged. That would be damaged. Now that's probably ideal. The reason that they've got that extra length on them is so they can sit nice and snug there. Look. So we'll start off with that. Let's keep these cones here. So you can see the use of the cones as you use them. Right, process number one. Fits nice and snug. Agree? Right, let's go through it. There we go. nice and level. With Draylon cones you have to don't start a pro the process and stop you have to go through with the cone all the way through as the procedure One point two. It's nickel, I'll probably get away with it. It's a little bit iffy. But these don't come into effect till you've got the shape of the the dome. You must push through with Draylon. Let's go pissed as a quick at that is. See? Oh, Apart from the cone going, uh, the coin going pissed on me, but that's my fault. There's, see, there is no damage to the cone, but if you go through a half a push, and then you want to remove it, if the cone doesn't want to come out on its own, it's not ready to. You push through with Draylon. Right, let's um. <clears throat> Continue that right well, that's out. No marks whatsoever. There's a big at this. Let me straighten this sucker up. On to the next cone. This is a twenty two, I think. Each cone is size for each punch hole. Cone to cone. See, I don't know, understand how anyone can damage it if you follow this procedure. It's 
moss push through and these are lengthened so you will have to have a little bit of space on the bottom just in case they bottom out on you. Now I've just folded that with those two cones. That's nickel and I don't even recommend this stuff to use on nickel but if it's clean like the first one it's fine, it seems to work quite well actually. It's quite, um... But if you follow the procedure I've just showed you, always make sure the coin or the cone sits really, I mean, snug in the punch hole, not just on the top, because you will damage your cone. Now, see if I can get that. Probably get something out of that. Lock it up. No, I didn't give me much. I'll just give me the shape that way. Right. No, there's no stickiness whatsoever. I just don't understand it. I really don't. But um, if you can see that. Clean as a whistle, clean as a whistle, clean as a whistle. You'll have no more damage to these as you will the old style cone if you follow that procedure. Now I don't know if I'm making it quite clear, but there is the process like I say. Start off with the one that fits lovely jubbly. Next one, next one. But once you've, if you're halfway through a fold, don't try and remove the first one to try and get the bigger one in because it would fit you need to push this all the way through to its maximum then remove next cone same principle so that's like I say well I don't know if I can explain it any better I'm not um, much cop on this video off. I mean, but like I say, one, two, three, folded, sorted, 1953 nickel, and that was no problems whatsoever. In fact, I'm a little bit on the scary side. It actually folds, well, much better than I'd ever imagined for nickel, and um, I'm impressed. But stick to that procedure and you won't come into any problems whatsoever. If it's just sticking on the end of that punch hole and you've only got like, say five mil stop through it, you will damage the end. That's the end of it. And that's not the cone's fault or the coin's fault if you haven't cleaned it properly. It's the person who was using them's fault. But um, that's about it really. Sorry about posting more or less the same video as the last one, but I thought I'd need to explain why people are going wrong with this sort of um, system. Right, okay. I think I'll, if, if you've got any suggestions or whatever, uh, all, of, all feedback, good or bad, is good. Because um, then you can move on for other ideas. Thank you.